think it's crazy that a girl can sit there and say that she loves each and every boyfriend that she has and she beats them. What's the deal with that? You beat your boyfriend, you love him, beating equals love? Not in my book. I don't believe that. I really like to meet this Derek fellow to see his opinion on if he thinks it's a joke or what love really is to him. Andrea has not seen Derek in two years. Um, two years ago, Andrea pushed Derek down the stairs. Andrea admits to being a woman that uh, is abusive to her boyfriend. Every single boyfriend she's ever had, she's been abusive. Um, Derek is here. Uh, Derek, take me back to that day when she pushed you down the stairs. Um, basically, uh, I was coming home and things weren't going right with me and her. And I don't know what happened. Actually, she was pushing me down the stairs like real hard. I'm like, what's going on, you know? And then she said she was just joking, but she pushed me like a guy would, you know? Real, like hit really? my neck. Yeah, you hit real your neck? Hard. Hit my neck. My back was hurting. And she thought it was just a little game being funny and all. And I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't, I wasn't liking all that. Mm -hmm. So then I know you. Um... You said you knew you wanted to end the relationship at one point. What, what, what point was that? After she punched me in my eye. <laughs> that wasn't where it was at. <laughs> Give me a black eye because we kind of broke up, you know. What do you, what do you tell people when you have a black eye that your girlfriend... They you laugh. Can... They were like, what? Let your girl punch you in your eye? And I'm like, yeah. I probably would have joked around and said that Something else happened, but yeah, that was a real problem. Up. Yeah, you cover, cover up. cover up and not tell the truth. Um, she's here. She has you here for a reason. Why not? I guess you can tell him. Why? Hi. What's up? What's up? You look great. Thank you. Um, I asked you to come here because I wanted to apologize. And I don't have an excuse because I don't believe in excuses. But I know that I need help. I need to help myself. I need to fix myself. And... I shouldn't have never hit you, ever. I shouldn't have hit anybody, but you deserve better, and I want to be better for you. So I can fix myself, and then we can fix us? Nah, nah something I'm not looking for. After a woman put their hands on me, I don't want to love. I want an abusive relationship, and that's not for me. So be friends, not but... Not even if I stop? Mm -mm. No, <laughs> I'm better. Sorry. You said you found better in a relationship now? Yes. Yeah? Does she hit you? No. no. She loves me. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Hi, Cooper Lawrence. Relationship expert Cooper Lawrence is here. Um, why do you think it's becoming more and more common for women to actually put their hands on men and to abuse men? You know, we're seeing a rise in female aggression in general. I mean, women are, co are committing more crimes. Yeah. The U.S. Department of Justice said 20 years ago it was one woman for every 10 man, men. Now it's one in four. Really? One in four. Wow. So that said, and you know, and the thing is, you gave out some great statistics, except remember, it's very underreported because men don't report when they're being yes. physically abused yes. by their women. Yes. So those numbers are a lot higher than what you're saying. Um, but, but. It's the same thing. Take gender out of it. These are, these are people that don't know how to express their anger. Mm -hmm. And it starts with aggression as a young child. And when boys are aggressive, you say, stop that. When girls are aggressive, you say, oh, she'll grow out of it. It's a girl. Mm. She, what is she going to do? And she learns that the best way to handle her anger is by hitting. And nobody stops her. And she grows up feeling like she's in such a rage. She doesn't know what to do. And she doesn't know how to express herself. So it comes out in physical violence. Why and they're they very good saying... at picking out men who are willing to take it from them. Yes. That's, the, that's what I say. It's the heat-seeking missile. I said this before, that an abuser knows a good abusee. Exactly. They can scan the room. And I said this before, and it's like a heat-seeking missile, like, boop, 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 you. They can sniff it out. Oh, yeah. They can smell it. These are like, you know, gentle guys, probably have some issues and pain in the past that make them susceptible to abuse. Now, 
break down this whole thing where the girls keep talking about, I love him, I love him, I love him. That kills me. Yeah, it's the cycle of abuse. It happens with men who abuse women. It's just, again, take out gender. It's the mm -hmm. cycle of abuse. They do something that causes me to hit you as if the problem is you, not mm -hmm. me. And they're unwilling to look at the fact that they're the ones with the aggression problem. Mm -hmm. It's easy to blame the other person and say, well, you cheated on me, my boss fired me, my friend did this. You know what? Life's tough. Yeah. Your reaction to it is under your control. Both of the women, the uh, young ladies, um, Andrea and Kendra, said, please, I, I, I can change. Please take me back or please marry me. I can change. Can you explain how it's not just so easy of just wanting to change that right, there's you, an issue? Right. Well, it's, it's really deeply ingrained. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is behavior that they learned very early on from either their immediate home environment. You know, this is also a generation of girls who grew up seeing violence regularly, which is why they tend to be more aggressive now. Mm -hmm. And it's so ingrained that you really have to unlearn behaviors that you had from when you were a kid. You yeah. have to relearn how to handle your anger. Well, it's, I, it's possible. It's possible. Well, I first of all, I want to... Um, tell both ladies that we're going to hook you guys up with some help because both of you said that you need help, so we're going to do that for you. And um, second of all, with um, Derek and uh, Derek and Marcus, I just want to uh, uh, applaud you because you guys are total role models for guys that are going through this at home that are too scared to say something or too embarrassed. So you have like pulled the lid off of this to say, say something, you know get away from these women that are doing this to you and that it's not the worst thing in the world to voice this issue that could be so awful because you never know what you said before or one of you guys said that one time it's pushing down the stairs and the next time it's a gun to your head. And believe me, I visited a prison years ago with women. The majority of the women were in there because they did something to the man, hurting the man in a relationship. Something in terms of abuse in a relationship one way or the other but it was the women that were in jail for a lot of them for homicide on a man okay we'll be right back